Doodle Bud here, as it showed in the thumbnail, I'm making the claim that this, this clip right here is the best designed clip there is. Now this video may cause a little controversy, but let me explain to you why I chose this clip. Now to clarify, I didn't say the best looking clip. Here are some pens that I think have much better looking clips than the one on the Lamy Safari. When it comes to design, it's not all about just the looks. Yes, it has to look good, especially on an object like this. If it's an industrial piece of gear, it's really all about function and not so much the looks. But here we are. This clip, you show this to anybody, they know exactly where this came from. And I think it fits the pin quite well. But then it has to be functional, right? That's the most important part with something like this. And this functionality on this is fantastic. Then you have to make it. And depending how you design something, it can add a lot of cost and the way this was designed and it's manufactured the cost is phenomenal you cannot reduce the cost to manufacture this clip any further so let's get into all the details to talk further i'm going to have to pop the clip off the pen now i already have a lamy all-star which is essentially an aluminum version of the safari and then also this gorgeous lamy lx same thing as the all-star but just like a little bit more posh but i realized uh, in order to take the clip off, I actually need a Lamy Safari, and all my Safaris, I've given them away. So the good folks over at Blesket uh, sent these two over for me to do this video just to be able to talk about these clips. I'll also be doing a full review in these two pens. They included some lovely nibs to go with them, including some of their stub nibs. So stay tuned for that video. I want to thank uh, Blesket for sending me these uh, to do this video. Check out their site. I'll have a link down there, plus a, a discount code they offer as well, 10% off. Now, in order to really talk about this further, I'm going to have to take one of the clips out. I think it's going to be the red one. To pop it out, you just pop out the cap, and it's going to be tough to see down there. I think I just got it, but there's a little red button down there, which is the other side of this cap finial, that I have to press that out in order to free out the clip. Now, I've never removed one of these clips before but I'm essentially gonna take this pin, go down against that other side and apply a little pressure and this finial here should pop up and it shouldn't be too crazy amount of force or else you're pushing on the wrong thing and it should pop out nicely. Oh, that was quite nice. This is what uh, we're removing here. So you're just gonna push against the end that you can see with inside the cap and it's just gonna, there's that little ridge here that's gonna pop over that edge. That's what's holding it all together. We have the little seal here at the top, which just pops out nice and easy. This whole pen is actually, <laughs> the way it's made is absolutely fantastic. And then we're just gonna slide this out. There is another seal in there. We're just gonna slide out the clip. And there it is. Look how simple this is. Let me tell you how this is made. While I'm at it, I'll just fully remove the inner cap liner then, and that will fully disassemble the safari cap so that's it you have your main body cap liner your clip little seal and this little uh, button here that keeps the whole thing together brilliant design so those parts there are all injection molded and this one this one is done through a cnc wire bend machine so this is a steel uh, piece and steel is nice nice and strong it's not going to wear out it has the rigidity that you need to provide the strength the you know clamping force for it to clip it's going to hold its shape and not deform the beautiful thing with this is if you can make a part from a, from wire specifically so you can cnc wire bend it try to design your part that way it is such a low cost method the reason for that is there's no waste. When you injection mold, um, there is little bits that you know get torn off uh, from the molding process. You gotta trim the parts and stuff like that as well. You also have to make your molds. Now, you the returns on that investment are huge when you're making tons of parts. So these the cost on these become extremely low. But you couldn't do that for this clip. You need something stronger than plastic. So it's gonna be metal. And all I can say is if you can make it out of wire, make it out of wire. There is no cheaper way to do it. And also, like I said, no waste. So the wire just comes in a spool. I'll leave a video down below so you can watch a couple of videos of a CNC wire bend machine in action, but you have a large uh, spool of wire. It goes into machine and then there's just these little fingers that come along and will bend it. 
so the part will come out and all these little bends will happen the part gets made in front of your eyes it gets bent 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 parts done boom parted and it will drop into a basket with all of these and this will just run and run and run no wastage at all you're not removing any material there's there's nothing else to waste it just parts each tool and the next one is already starting so you can crank these out so fast with zero waste super low cost material and it's all in a cnc so it can make it can make 10,000 of these parts and just keep on ticking another great thing about this clip design you can share it across your different models so your more expensive ones as well and then you can change your coatings and finish this so here we have a nice chrome one obviously this is a red paint that they do there's black there's all sorts of different colors so you can have new releases and change the color of the clip to go with that and then even you know upscale the pen by offering some nicer coatings on here this beautiful rose gold coating like a pvd coating that goes on here it's very very nice while you're at it match the end piece just looks beautiful so you can even charge a little bit more for your pens that have a nicer finish on them now as i was shooting this video i just realized this actually might not be steel it could be copper so i polished that up a little bit and it sort of looks like copper then i said well i gotta take the other clip out to confirm that and it actually this might be copper instead of steel so now your part is done it was made extremely fast very low cost zero wastage put a coating on it and like with anything else, now you gotta put all the parts together. So let me show you how quick and easy this goes together. No tools required. You just open the clip up a little bit, slide it into the holes, away it goes. Flip it over, drop in your cap liner. Now Lamy will have a proper assembly jig to do this whole process, so it'll be even quicker. You pop in your seal, you pop in your end finial here, and you just press it, drive it in there, and now everything is assembled. Now, like I said, this may not be the prettiest clip like some of these ones in the back here, but from a design point of view, when you have to close the whole loop, you design it, has to look good, has to be functional, which it is, reliable, which it is, and the cost to produce this is extremely low, and the way you produce it, there's really not going to be any errors with this at all. I don't think you can reduce the cost to make this part any further and that's in engineering terms it's essentially a perfect part and so that is why i feel the clip here on the lamb safari which is also used on the vista and the all-star the lx the other pens this is the best design clip in the business i'm sure that uh, this will generate a lot of comments some people will love to give me a big earful down there feel free to read those as well hit the like button hit the subscribe button. That way you won't miss the video when I do the review. Don't forget to visit Blesket. They've sent me these, so check out their site for other stuff as well. This is a cool strawberry color. My personal favorite is this lovely yellow. And there's a discount code for you to use as well. All the details will be in the description. Leave it there. Catch you next time.